Hey everyone, Toll Level here, giving some honest reviews on a few games here. So, I'm quite the reviewer. I know what I've been doing for many, many years of doing this. So, I'm a professional critic. Yeah. So, let's start with a 3DS game. We have Bravely Default. Now, I love this game. It was a great breath of fresh air to get kind of old school feel of, you know, kind of turn based RPGs and grinding and all that with a fun little brave feature you get to use in this game to strategize and combat of, you know, how you want to attack and, or do you leave yourself open, you know, you can use take a bunch of turns to attack many times and yeah really really cool so you know this is an easy 9 out of 10. The sequels though? Bravely Second and Bravely Default 2. What went wrong here? I really enjoyed both of these games but they didn't break any ground at all. I mean every sequel Every continuation of every game needs to improve drastically instead of giving something that fans love the first time. These games, you know, there's a few extra different things and characters you can do, you know, all that sort of stuff, but they play very similar to the first Bravely Default, so that's so disappointing. It needs to break ground. So, Bravely 2nd, 5 out of 10. Bravely Default 2, 3 out of 10. Until you break ground, those are the scores you're going to get. Love these games, man. Now, give me a sec, and I'll be right back for my next review. Alright, I am back with another review. Don't worry about this headset, it means nothing. Don't worry, so next game we're going to review, Star Trek on PS3. I love this game, playing as Kurt and Spock, very fantastic, and, um, hold, give me one sec. Okay, I said, like, this game's fantastic, but I, I really didn't like this game, you know, um, like, there were some cool parts, but, well, it's, okay, you will pay me if I give a good, re okay, good to know. Yeah, don't worry, this part will all be edited out. I got an editor to do all this for me. Hi, I'm Editor Eddie, and yeah, I I don't care, I'm lazy. I'm leaving all this in, including my part here, so yeah, this is as much editing as you're going to get, so we're leaving everything in this video. Okay, so I should say, you know, it's a lot of fun with co-op and a friend and everything, and... How long does this game take? Okay, it takes around 10 hours, but I should just say, like, you can replay this game endlessly. There's always something new to discover. Okay, cool. Uh, sorry about that, but... Yeah, just want to also say the co-op in this game is so, so much fun. And even if you play single player, it's a really cool experience, but yeah, co-op is where this game is at. There's a lot of fun combat, really taking aspects from Mass Effect 2, and the game is endless. There's so much to discover, so many possibilities to play through the game, different difficulties to play through, and it's just a really cool experience. So Star Trek PS3, I give it a 9.7 out of 11. I don't know why I changed to 11, but... Oh, sorry, Ho hold on. Oh, okay, you... Okay, so we'll just make it out of 10 and bump it up. Okay, okay. Sorry, uh, I meant to say that I'm giving this game a 9.8 out of 10. The only th minuses I would give with this is that I lost a lot of time sinking hours into this. Okay, that's good enough. Okay, thank you. 
Uh, yeah, that game was quite the train wreck, but it's, uh... Yeah, um... So, I hope you enjoyed that review, so we'll be back in a second for my third and final review. Okay, for this last review, I really want to use, like, the internet opinion for this, so... What's a game that was, like, very controversial and was trolled a lot even before it came out? Oh, okay, here we go, The Last of Us Part 2. What do people say about this? Oh, okay. Yeah. That should be simple enough. Okay, cool. Again, Editor Eddie, please remove all this. Alright, so we're on to the last review here, and yeah, wouldn't you know, it has last in its name, The Last of Us Part 2, and oh boy, what do I say about this? Well, let's, there's only two things to really say about this. The story direction was awful, they're like, I don't even want to talk about the story at all, I just, I could not stand it. Everything about it was just bad, and there was no redeeming qualities to the story, I feel like, and, you know, the character, like, which, yeah, I'm leaning in because, yeah, I just can't believe this character, one of the worst ones to ever be created, Abby. This has to be one of the worst characters in human history, and... I just don't know what Naughty Dog was thinking, it just, what disappointment, you know, and I don't know what else to say, Last of Us Part 2, you get a 2.2 out of 10. Alright, so I think that's good, I mean, I myself enjoyed Last of Us Part 2, you know, it was... Not as good, like, I liked the first one a lot more, but, you know, I still enjoyed the second game, like, the graphics were fantastic, the animations, the action was cool, and, you know, Abby wasn't, like, my favorite character or anything, but didn't think she was that bad or anything like that, you know, but... I don't think people want to hear my actual opinion, I think it's just better to stick with what either the internet usually says about these things, or, you know, kind of do what a lot of critics do, and just if things don't break ground completely, though, I did see critics did form that, but I want to keep this very just diverse of using different opinions of both critics and internet so yeah again you can edit all this out please so yeah i guess i'll just do the outro because yeah no one wants to know what i honestly think about these things but anyways so i hope you all enjoyed my reviews of these games my honest reviews of every one of these right as yeah, you know, most of these were kind of letdowns, like I enjoyed Bravely Default, but the sequels enjoyed them too, but they just, they wouldn't break any ground, they weren't game-changing, which every sequel, like I said, has to be at this point, you know, and uh, Last of Us Part 2, man, that story, I just, I can't get over it. And, you know, at least though Star Trek, I got to redeem myself with that one that was very, 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 very good. So yeah, um, I hope you all enjoyed, you know, and yeah, if you want to see me do more reviews, let me know because this is what I love to do. I and I'm good at it, I know what I'm doing, so I hope you enjoyed, and um, yeah, I know what I'm doing, even though I never beat any of these games, played about an hour, and then gave my review, so yeah. Edit this out, Eddie. So, have a good one, everyone, take care, bye, 
all that good stuff. See ya! Hey everyone, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like and comment, and subscribe if you want to see more, or if you just want to see any of my skits and then nothing else and leave the video, that's fine too. <laughs> Thanks everyone, take care.